You're gonna need a soldering iron kit. So if you don't know what a soldering iron is, it'll look like this, like a solder iron. The solder itself, this, a solder wick. This is to clean off the solder, the old solder. And of course, you'll need like screwdrivers. Depends on your keyboard. About 34 screws I gotta unscrew, so. Lifting it up and look at all these wires. So there's one here, two. Here we can see the perpetrator, which uh, but here is the USB 2.0. And we're going to be removing these two little ports here. I'm going to prep it by putting a little bit of the solder on it. Not that I need to. And I'm going to take the soldering wick. Quick, quick, quick. And I'm going to put it on top of these little things here, this braid. And we're just going to tap and try not to touch the metal thing because you're going to burn your ass. And I learned that so much times. These four right here, they're pretty small to see. But those four got to come out now. <sighs> come on. There we go. Now, I'll leave it on so I can clean out the surface. And now I'm going to just take this iron and remove the rest of the solder. And this wiggle, right here, that's the problem. I have here the Velamin CC089 USB female B, USB B. On the bottom here, you can see it says Con USB 4 pin B. Got I'm going to start with the 4 in the back here. So I'm just going to. Put the metal on there, touch, and drive it in. This would be easier if I had flux. All right, let me go ahead and deal with the two big boys here, the big connectors. Okay. This is combined to two of them, so I have to separate it. Okay, <laughs> I got them in. Doctor work, doctor work. All right, it's not touching like these four balls and these two little blobs. So I think we have a good job here. Yeah. <laughs> There we have power, you can see the little blue light on the bottom there. This USB port is just a little bit bigger than the old one. It's not fitting in this hole like right. It's, it's not doing it. So what I'm gonna have to do is take a file and just keep playing with this, make it so this fits, which is probably not gonna be a lot of work. I finally managed to get this to actually go in. So as you see here, hands off of it but it's always a good practice to test out the thing before you screw in all 500 of those screws anyways I'm gonna power it on so happy about this so as you see here it's working hopefully you watch this video and it helps